Romans chapter 8, verse 1. There is, there is therefore no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus had made me free from the law of sin. For what the law could not do, in that this was weak through the, uh, through the flesh, God sending his own son in likeness of sinful flesh, no sin con condemned sin in the flesh, that the righteous of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not after the flesh, but in the spirit. And then we go further. In verse 54, we have received the spirit, we have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but we have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba Father. The spirit itself bears with us, with our spirit, that we are the children of God. And then again, in verse 76, and if children, then heirs. Heirs of God and join in with Christ. If she be, if so be that we suffer with Him, that we might be also glorified together. Mm -hmm. For I reckon that this sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. And may the Lord just bless and perfect the, His precious word this morning. And I'm so glad this morning that I can come come here this morning just to to have uh, uh, this wonderful time uh, around this table just to think of what we could enjoy this morning. And the word of God said so clearly, said, he says, there is therefore no condemnation to them which is in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. And we've heard what our brother in his prayer was saying when you were walking in the flesh, we couldn't understand. We couldn't see our, our stand. We couldn't see ourselves that we are a born in sin and Satan in, 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 in iniquity. But God, through His Spirit, had to come and to reveal unto us by His Spirit so that we could see our situation, our life amongst God and His people. And when God came with His Spirit and He's opened our blind eyes, we could see and we could understand the Word of God. We couldn't understand before. We heard the Word of God. We've read the Word of God, but we couldn't understand. Because we couldn't understand because the Spirit of God wasn't there to convict us of our sin condition. But this morning, we are grateful this morning. By the Spirit of God, we came here together to uplift the name of Jesus Christ for what He has done for us. And the word of God said, for there is no more condemnation, although people will say everything about us, but because of Christ, because of what He has done, because the, the, the human race said, done is the word that says once and forever done, it will not be repeated. Because Christ came to this earth if we look at this time of the year that the people is busy preparing themselves to, to have a Christmas, they, have to, they want to remember the birth of our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. They are so taken up with the one that came to this world. And this morning we can just be taken up to the one that came. It's so good to remember that. But the main thing of all is to remember for what he came. He came to die in my place. He came to take my sin in his body so that I can be free from sin and iniquity. So that I can be called an heir of God and a co heir. That I can be called the son of God. I have no any other explanation but for those who accept him. Is their Lord and Savior. He gave the power to be called sons and daughters of the Most High God. Isn't it is wonderful this morning that we can remember the one who loved us so much? That's 
That's why the word of God said in the book of John verse 3 verse he said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever may believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And this morning we can just say thank you Lord Jesus. You know words, we don't have the right words to say thank you. And I just want to explain something this morning. What happened to me a few weeks ago. And God's love is so wonderful. He, his words say, I will, I will not leave you, neither will I forsake you. And this morning I just want to thank the Lord for what he has, has done for us. And even through life we can experience, if you look up to now, brother, you've been so long with the Lord. And you can just experience, because if it wasn't for the Lord, you wouldn't be here this morning. But because of your love and because of God that done something so wonderful, you've got so much experience what the Lord has done in your life and how He's taken you through so many trials and, 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 and temptations. But God through His, 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 His truth and through His mercy, He kept us. Just an incident that, that happened to us as a family. Me and my family were almost been hijacked. And God came through for us amazingly. And if I, if I think that the enemy tried his uttermost, but it was not in the plan of God. When they wanted to kill us and to take our vehicle, God came through tremendously. Shows that the, the love of God and his divine protection over us it's so amazing. God's love is so wonderful. And today I can just say thank you Lord. And sometimes I'm sitting and I'm, I'm, I'm pondering on this and I say to myself, how did I get out of there? While I was driving into the sand pit, I was reversing into the sand. Supposed to stop in the sand. They knocked me while I was still in the sand. But God, through His grace and mercy, looked like He lifted that car up out of the sand and had to move it away. That's how great God is. That's how I have got the reasons to come and to just say thank you for what He's done. God is so great. God is so merciful. Oh, God is so wonderful. I just want to thank Him this morning. I just want to praise His name for His grace and His mercy. And you know, it's a, it's a wonderful opportunity that we have this morning to remember the Lord Jesus Christ this morning. And, and what's so wonderful is it that we walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. And I think those people, when they saw me move away, they couldn't believe. Because what they've seen, while my wife was like, open the door, shouting, and was so fearful. His grace and mercy is wonderful. We can just come and say thank you, Lord. You kept us. And if again, we want another opportunity this morning to come and sit around this table to remember what the Lord has done for us. But the main thing of today is to remember what He came for us, the purpose that He came for us. He came to this world. Like we've heard our brother uh, uh, Kevin has said years ago when the Lord Jesus. Christ spoke to the people, he, he used uh, 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 Noah to build an ark. But people were so busy, like today, people are so busy taking up with the things of this world that they didn't even hear the call. The, the call of the Lord. They have to prepare because God is going to be destroying the world with water. And when it came, it was too late. Too late. But we can thank God this morning for us. Was it too late? Mm. On the right time, God came through His Spirit and He opened our blind eyes so that we could see. And this morning we can see. And we can just come to this, together this morning to enjoy the wonderful uh, uh, time and the wonderful uh, uh, time to remember the Lord for what He's done for us. To sit around the bread and the wine to think what the Lord has done for us. And this morning, I'm grateful this morning to say, in verse he said, the spirit 
it shall bear witness with our spirit that we are children of God. Mm-hmm. Is it amazing? His spirit, His spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are children of God. That is the word of God. We can never change the word of God. And He said that and, and if the children, the heirs and heirs of God, and the front heirs with Christ, if so be that we suffer with Him, that we might be also glorified together. And if I think what we have to go through, and what we have to, 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 to bear in this world, so many, I mean, I know there's so many things that we went through in this life. But we can just thank God. We just hold on to His grace. Because it's by grace that we are saved. It's only the grace of God that kept us together this morning and we can come together again this morning to remember the one that loved us so much. God loved us so much. He gave heaven's best. He gave His only begotten and there was no any other good enough to pay the price of sin but only the Lord Jesus Christ. And when He came, I just listened over the radio last time and said, people are busy uh, uh, going all over the, the world, going for holidays, and when they make uh, 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 preparation to stay in hotels and ever, it seems to me that sometimes there's no place for them to come and to enjoy the holiday. And we think in the time when the Lord Jesus Christ, when He came to this earth, people were preparing themselves to come. They want to see the Savior of the world. They all came together. They heard that the Savior is going to be born. And when people are prepared, I think in the, in the time of Israel, it was like today that people are visiting those, those places and the places are full. There was no place at all. That's why when Jesus Christ came to this earth, there was no place in the heaven. No place where he could have been born. His place was in a stable with a sheep, with animals. There it came. Jesus, but we are coming here together this morning. And we're coming to give thanks, honor, and glory because we come because we are called children of God. Because for what Christ has done for us. He gave us his only begotten son. And when he gave him to be, when he came to this world, there was no place we could have been born. He came so low. So they can lift us up from the mighty birth of clay and to wash us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. In this morning, we are grateful this morning. We can go on and we can go on and we can go on. But the main thing this morning is when you went to the cross. When you went to the cross, we had to pay the price for sin for each and everyone in this world. It's only for them to accept Him. And they can also be called heirs, or be called sons and daughters of the Most High God. But today, if you don't want to accept it, it's going to be so sad that one day you're going to be accountable. You're going to be kept accountable. You were sitting under the Word of God. You never even realize, and it's going to be too late. Like the people of old, when the when the flood came. Was crying out, Noah opened the door, but God shut mm-hmm. the door. Mm-hmm. God closed the door. Like today, grace is still shut. Grace is still there. It's for you to accept it. Mm-hmm. And this morning, because of grace, we are here this morning to remember what Christ has done. And we know when he went to the cross, he was pierced to a hands and to his through his feet. He was even a spear was put in his side. He was crowned with a crown of thorns. He went through so many humiliation. And the people of old they said, away with him, crucify him. We don't want this man to rule over us. And this morning we can just say thank you Lord Jesus. You accept, you accept you say, Father forgive him for they don't know what they do. And this morning we know it all.
don't so get that. When we heard the word of God, we didn't want to have anything with the Lord Jesus Christ. But when the Spirit of God came over our lives, He opened our blind eyes. We can only come this morning to remember what He's done for us. And again this morning, when we look at this table this morning, we said, you will only do this until He comes again. Because the Word of God said to when the Lord Jesus Christ, when he, when he died, he was buried, the third day he arose, cried out from the grave. He even made his disciples from the way and he revealed himself to God. And this morning we come, and he's a risen Savior. And today, he's just going away to prepare a place for us. And one day, he will get this, the table, the bread and the wine, and we'll see him face to face. To see him as he is. And then we can glorify the Lord when we come to here on earth. We only have words that's not even enough to give thanks for what Christ has done for us. But we can just think this morning, praise his name, glorify. That's why the Psalm 115 praise the Lord. Oh, the, 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 the whole uh, Psalm. I think I was read that Psalm, Psalm, uh, uh, Psalm 150. Uh, and it's so wonderful song. I just want to read and I want to end, I want to end off with this. I just want to, 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 to just to, to end off with, with that song. And I will sit down and say, Praise the Lord. Praise God in His angel. Praise Him with permanent in His power. Praise Him with a mighty acts of praise in the according to His excellent greatness. Praise Him with the sound of trumpet. Praise Him with the, with the boss. Praise Him with the tremble and dance. Praise Him with the strength of instruments and organs. Praise Him upon the loud cymbals. Praise Him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. And in today, in this morning, we've got the breath. We don't have cymbals. We don't have instruments this morning that we've heard in prayer. But we've only got words. Jesus, oh my God.